Agzeed Agbot Autonomous equipment is gradually spreading into all spheres of human activity, and agriculture, naturally, is no exception. Agbot is a machine developed by Agseed from the Netherlands. Moving across the field at up to 15 km per hour, it takes on a task that used to take up people's time and effort. Agbot plows the land like a tractor, and thanks to its elaborate navigation system, can be set up quickly and easily. The user does practically all the work while sitting in front of the computer. Using a special program, you can set the area to plow and the place where you want to start and finish the plowing process. The settings can be changed easily with the mouse, and you can even mark obstacles on the map which the machine should avoid. The program can calculate a route in seconds, and Agbot can follow it with pinpoint accuracy, guided by GPS technology. Perhaps the only drawback is that the device has not yet learned how to change attachments on its own. It still needs human help for that. Hardy Aeon Protecting fields from insects, weeds, and pests is no less time-consuming work than plowing. But even here, advanced modern technology offers farmers a hand. Aeon is a development of the Danish company Hardy. It's a tractor sprayer with an adjustable working width from 24 to 39 meters. In this model, engineers implemented cutting-edge technology as well as advanced automation solutions. The result is a powerful equipment that increases productivity and at the same time reduces costs. The shape of the chemical tank has been improved so that the solution is consumed to the last drop even when working on hilly terrain. The special design of the boom allows the machine to remain stable even at high driving speeds. A whole station is built into the side for more convenient mixing of chemicals. In it, the operator will find absolutely everything they need, from personal protective equipment to hand-washing taps. Optimal 3000 Luckily, the times when trees had to be cut down from the site before construction could begin are gradually becoming a thing of the past. Nowadays, more and more contractors are using specialized machinery designed for the delicate transportation of vegetation. Amazingly, this really is a machine that can lift a tree into the air along with its roots and then transport it to a new, more comfortable location. The plant itself experiences minimal damage. The model shown in the video is the Optimal 3000. It's made by the German company Optimal Vertrieb Opitz. The working tool is either a rounded or cone-shaped bucket. This shape was not chosen by chance either, as it corresponds to the natural shape of the root system. However, the bucket is available in a wide variety of designs and sizes. So, the bucket is individually adapted to each situation and each tree. Optimal 3000 is one of the largest machines in its field and handles trees up to 150 centimeters in circumference. Class Jaguar 990 Of course, not only autonomous agricultural machines are being developed today. Engineers are constantly working on the improvement of conventional machinery as well. For example, the Jaguar 990 from the German company Klaas definitely deserves our attention. Currently, this is one of the most powerful machines of this type in the industry. It delivers an astonishing 925 horsepower. And these are not just numbers, it's a guarantee of reliability and high performance throughout the harvesting process. Speaking of productivity, it reaches 380 tons per hour. Other notable features include low fuel consumption, a redesigned knife drum, a smart driver assistance system, and an innovative control system. Amazon Cytem 12001C we have already mentioned machines that help plow the fields and spray them. But what about machines designed for sowing? 
The Saiten 12001C from the German company Amazon and Verka stands out among them. It is a high-performance cedar that attaches to the tractor as a trailer. The construction optimally combines lightness with an impressive working width of 8 to 15 meters. Another important advantage is the large hopper volume of up to 8,000 liters. The working speed is 16 kilometers per hour. All of these features allow the cedar to process up to 15 hectares every hour. In addition, the developers fitted it with an additional three-section pressurized tank. This reduces the working time even more, because during sowing, the fertilizer is automatically placed into the seed furrow. John Deere Zero The Zero series by American manufacturer John Deere allows you to turn two work cycles into one. The machines are primarily responsible for mowing grass and crop stems, and they do their job very efficiently. The largest model in the series, the C500, has an outstanding working width of up to 5 meters. The machine also flattens the plants while cutting them. The coarse stems, which usually don't let moisture out, are crushed and therefore dry much faster. Finally, the mower folds the grass, making it easier to collect after drying. Grim Rexeth 6300 Platinum Harvesting root crops like celery, chicory or beets is a time-consuming process. Therefore, it's not surprising that engineers are looking for new ways to simplify it. The German company Grimmer succeeded with the creation of the Rexeth 6300 Platinum, a unique, professional, self-propelled harvester. Its working width is six rows. An important advantage is the presence of a horn topper and a ridge crowner. The hopper can hold up to 20 tons, which is about 30 cubic meters of crops. The engine output of 653 horsepower ensures a stable performance and endurance. In addition, when developing the model, special attention has been given to the gentle handling of the harvested crops. For example, in the empty hopper, the crops don't fall to the floor from a height, but roll down a special tray, so that they're less likely to be damaged. Leuven Swiss Profi Press After seeing one of the machines we've shown today, some of you may have wondered how exactly is the grass collected from the field after drying. Of course, specialized machinery comes to the rescue. These are balers, which are usually tractor trailers. The Swiss company Leuvend has come up with a way to improve the technology so that it offers an enhanced performance. The result is the Swiss Profi Press, a hay baler that's an independent machine. Thanks to its own 175 horsepower engine, the machine can handle a large volume of dry material at a relatively high operating speed. Pelank EOL VXL This is the last piece of equipment for today, and we bet that you've never seen anything like this before. EOL VXL from the French company Pelank is an irrigation water sprayer, which was created specifically for grape fields. The fact is that they have quite a specific look. Between the high and thin rows of plants are wide strips of bare ground. For this reason, the machine was equipped with 12 spray heads at once, four pieces for each of the three rows. Their position and inclination are adjustable. Water is supplied under high pressure to rotating fans that reduce the size of the droplets and provide a more uniform coverage. 